I'm Robert Boval, the co-author of The Master Game with Graham Hancock. The original thrust of the research of Graham Hancock and myself, which started in the early 90s, was to get to the root of why certain major cities had monuments that were clearly symbolic of Egyptian structures like Washington DC with the, the uh, Washington Memorial, in Paris with pyramids being built in front of the Louvre and obelisks being strewn in various capital cities. The result of that has convinced us that major cities like Paris, Washington, London, Rome were designed to act as some sort of giant temples to initiate people living within those cities towards what can be loosely called the Masonic ideals. This was the original thrust of the book, but what we realized eventually, especially after the 9-11 events, is that we had performed a research that not only exposed the background to these mysterious sacred cities or Masonic cities, but that exposed a conflict, a root of a conflict, starting from the early crusading days all the way to 9-11. And suddenly the book became an attempt to put all this together so that we unveil this uh, historical confusion and reveal this strange landscape of cities in relation to this conflict that nobody seems to quite understand concerning the Islamic jihadist and the Western world. An idea came to recreate the idea of Jerusalem in the West. A first attempt was taken to build a kind of new Jerusalem in London. In the hands of this plan was the Masonic societies in the early 18th century. Eventually this concept of a kind of chosen people, a kind of new Jerusalem, was exported in the New World, in the United States. And the epicenter of this new Jerusalem world, this new culture that was going to dominate, was going to be the city of Washington. Although our study in these sacred plans, in the Masonic plans of cities, and particularly Washington DC, started in the early 1990s, the idea that Washington is a Masonic city, designed according to Masonic principles, of course emerged and exploded on the international scene with Dan Brown's book, The Lost Symbols. But what we have discovered is that the city, in a curious way, which was of course designed in the 1790s by the French architect Pierre L'Enfant, very much influenced by ideologies of the senior Masons that were the founding fathers, George Washington, uh, Franklin, Jefferson, who was involved in the plan, clearly not only exhibit Masonic ideologies, but more surprisingly, Egyptian symbolism. And this is what intrigued us. There is some very blatant Egyptian symbolism in the city of Washington. Of course, the Washington Memorial, which stands on Capitol, at the end of Capitol Hill. This is clearly an Egyptian obelisk. Many people who haven't visited will uh, not be aware that at the entrance is in fact the Egyptian symbol that was put on all Egyptian temples, the so-called Urais, the winged solar disk. This is very, very surprising. Another great Masonic uh, monument in the city of Washington, or rather in the suburb of Alexandria, is the Washington Masonic Memorial. Intended to represent one of the wonders of the ancient world, which was the lighthouse, is that on the day of the attack of 
on the 11th of September 1960 was precisely 60 years to the day of the inauguration and founding of the Pentagon. On the Pentagon still exists a plaque saying the 11th of September 19. There's some sort of super game involving a kind of occult messaging that is going from one party to the other. So the book, strange enough, states where the symbols of Freemasonry begin in ancient Egypt. Takes you on a journey of this in strange intellectual religious ideologies as it emerges in Europe during the Renaissance as it blows up in the civil war in England with the formation of the new states and the parliament with the strange city maps of London, as it finally explodes in the twin revolutions, the American War of Independence and the French Revolution on the other side of the Atlantic, and again with the strange city plans emerging, pyramids, obelisks, alignments of roads, and finally, finally comes to rest in the horrible events of 9-11 and the aftermath.